Hi everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Work It Out Wednesdays. We really hope that you've been liking these videos. Um, we've got a new one for you today that we hope you enjoy. Remember to use the pause button to your, your advantage. Pause any moment you feel you need to take a break, get some water, and then you can jump right back in, press play, and you're good to go. Stay safe, and we sure do miss you. Got a lot of cardio coming your way, so let's go ahead and get started with modified jumping jacks. Just like this, and I'm stepping out to the side, opposite arm, or same arm, excuse me, same leg, going out to the side. We're gonna do each cardio exercise that we have today for about 45 seconds. Then we'll take a pause, go into another 45 seconds. We're at 30 seconds now. Doing good. Keep it going. Woo! Really step out wide. Bring those arms up overhead. Ready and 45 seconds. There we go. Take a minute to breathe. Pause for about 10 seconds here. Roll your shoulders out. All right, ready for another 45 seconds. Let's jump in, we're gonna do pop squats. So squat down just a little bit, pop up, down, up, down, up. There we go. Up, up, so from the side, looks like this. Just squatting down just ever so slightly. Bending at the hips and knees, popping up. Good, and use your arms to give you a little momentum here. Also, it's good to do that for balance. Whew. Almost there, five more seconds. Great job. Whew. Okay, let's take another pause, about 10 seconds or so your water if you need to. The next exercise that we're going to do is quick feet. All right, you ready? Let's go. Quick feet here. Just keep them going. We're going to do this for 45 seconds. You know the drill. Just keep that momentum. You've got this. You guys are working hard every week and we appreciate you. The next exercise we're going to do is called a star jump. All right, so what you're going to do is kind of squat down. I can't really squat down too much these days, but you're just going to crouch down just like this to start. Then you're going to come out into a star. So crouch down, out into a star. All right, let's keep it going for about 45 seconds. Woo! <laughs> Take these at your own pace. Nine, 
those shoulders back. Let's do 10 more, you guys got it. Ready, start a squat, jump, and land in the squat. One, two, use those arms to give you momentum. We're gonna go into a glute bridge. If you've been working with us, you've done it before, but if not, um, what you're gonna do is lift off the floor from your glutes. So you're gonna sink your heels into the floor, lift up, and raise those glutes. Squeeze them at the top, and let's go for 20. So one, two, three, four, Feet about hip width apart. 
I like to put my hands together for balance. And what we're gonna do is just squat down and back up. Ready for 10. So one, two, three. I already feel my glutes on fire today. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take a pause and shake it out. Shake it out. Woo, we are working those buns. All right, ten more. We got this. We go down for one. And two. Three. Four. side you choose I'm gonna lay on my left left side to start and I'm gonna prop myself up you can see it I'll scoot down a little bit just like this okay and my bottom leg is gonna be bent my bottom knee top leg is straight straight line all the way down and from here I'm just lifting up my toes are actually pointed towards that wall there and let's go for a one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it in. A little rub down. Okay, take it back out. Let's go for ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Circle backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Okay, guys, so now I've switched sides. The opposite leg, the one on the floor is bent. Top leg is straight with my toes pointed out. I'm using this hand here for support. When you're ready, let's go for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it in. A little rub. Ooh, really working our glutes today. All right, out straight. One, two, three. strengthening portion of today's workout. So I'm going to use two small pound weights. You do not have to or you can always ditch them halfway through kind of however you're feeling today but I'm going to go ahead and pick those up now. All right so the first exercise we're going to do really strengthens your upper back so you're going to start with your feet hip width apart, small bend in your knees, your core is engaged and then your weights are going to start down here by your thighs and then with your shoulders down and back you're going to lift the weights up and then bring your elbows back like you're squeezing your shoulder blades together and then from there, you're gonna rotate your palms up towards the ceiling. So let's just practice that motion a few more times. So I think it's like a three-step motion. So lift to shoulder height, bringing the elbows back, squeezing the shoulder blades together, 
and then rotating your palms so that they're facing forwards and then doing the opposite as you come back down. So really think about squeezing the shoulder blades together, rotating the palms up, that's, where, that's work in the back of your rotator cuff, and then come back down so your palms are facing the ground, arms forward straight out, and then back down. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So go ahead and come up, elbows back, lift, and then reverse it. Really slow, moving with control here. And I want you to work within your own range of motion. Beautiful. Continuing to keep your core engaged the entire time. So we're working lots of muscles by doing this dynamic movement. And you're gonna keep breathing. Pull back, lift up, and slowly return back to center. Let's see if we can do six more. I think we can. All right, here goes five. And four. Really checking in, making sure your core is engaged, keeping a nice flat back the entire way through this exercise. It's really important, especially as we get tired, our low back wants to arch. Just three more. Ooh, feeling the burn already. Two more. Pull back, lift up, and slowly come back to center. I think I'm making you guys do one extra. Let's do one more for good measure. Lift up, slow, come back down with control. All right, nice job. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move into some tricep work. So the rest of our session's really gonna be focused on working the triceps, so the back of our upper arms and then biceps, the front of our upper arms. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to move into what I call a windmill with a tricep extension. So again, you're gonna start in that kind of power stance, core's engaged, your shoulders are stacked over your hips. You're gonna have the weights down here by your thighs, and then you're gonna windmill them up overhead, bringing the weights together, and then from here, we're gonna go into a, a tricep extension, and then windmill back down. So I'll go from the side so you can see. So bringing the weights up overhead, and then bringing the weights together so your palms are facing each other, tricep dip down, and then straighten, and then bring those weights out. I'll come and face forward one more time just so we get practice the motion and I turn my weight so they're facing each other. Elbows in towards the center, straighten, and then come all the way back down. Good. So windmill up, weights together, triceps, and slow come back down. This one especially I want you to work within your own range of motion. Really think about keeping the, your upper arm super quiet when you come into this portion. We're just straightening the elbow. Again, another dy dynamic movement, so we're working lots of muscles at once here. You're breathing, checking and making sure your core is engaged. Up overhead, tricep extension, and then windmill slowly back down. All right, up overhead. Good. Straighten and slowly come back down. And bring it up, straighten, good. And we really all should be working to make it a little bit more smooth, try to work to have your palms come together as you're bringing your arms up overhead. Make it a nice smooth fluid motion. There we go, that looks a little better. Let's do five more here. Nice job. And breathing, just three more. Really moving slow, deliberately with control. Tricep, slow, come back down. Come on up. Just one more. And bring it up. Go ahead and do one more tricep while you're up here. <laughs> that was just for fun. All right, nice job. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is a bicep curl, but I'm gonna kind of walk you through it because we are gonna do different variations of a traditional bicep curl, so we're targeting um, the muscle differently. So go ahead and come into that same power stance for me, feet hip width apart, small bend in your knees, and then with your elbows locked in at your side, palms starting down by your thighs, shoulders down and back, and then we're just gonna go into regular bicep curls up. We're gonna do 30 of these. Check into that breathing, 
Try to get it to come down a little bit. Beautiful. Turn to the side so you can see how this looks. So you're really controlling the weight as it comes down toward your thighs. You're not letting the weight just kind of take you for a ride down. Nice job. So we're using low weights but doing high reps so that's better for toning purposes. Getting those tank top arms going. Nice job. Let's do eight more. Good. And I'm going to walk you through how to do the next part. So we'll do three, two, and one. So go ahead, bring your arms out to where your elbows are bent at about 90 degrees. And then from here, I want you to slowly lower, really, really slow with control, and then come back up. So we're focusing on lengthening the muscle, working in a different fashion. So kind of sticking the lower, the bottom half of the range of motion, but lowering those weights with control, really slow and deliberate. Same thing, we're gonna do 30 here. So it's a very small control movement. It might not seem like we're doing much, but we're working the muscle in a different fashion. Good, so just slightly more of the 90 degree elbow bend and then really, really slow, lowering with control. Nice job. This is gonna be the last one that we're gonna do in standing. And then go ahead and have your mat handy because we're going to do some arm work laying on our backs on the mat. Let's do just eight more. Slow with control, lowering those weights down. Five more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Nice job. We made our way down onto our mats. I've got my weights here close by. I'm gonna go ahead and make my way onto my back with my knees bent up just to protect my low back. My shoulders are nice and relaxed down here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up those small weights and we're gonna do some tricep work but while we're on our backs. So what I want you to do first is to lift your arms to shoulder height and have about a 90 degree bend in your elbows. And then from here, we're gonna straighten and then slowly lower those weights towards the ground and straighten. Making sure your core is engaged in this position. Don't let that low back arch up. And then really keep your upper arm quiet. We're just straightening at the elbow. Nice job. So fully straighten and then same thing. Really control those weights as you come back down. Breathing. In the last part of the workout you can do this Finish strong. We've just got 10 more here. And really as you get tired, focus in on those upper arms, making sure they're not moving all over the place. Good. Five more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Go ahead and now have both of your weights pointed up towards the ceiling, your elbows are straight, and now what we're going to do is we're going to alternate bending one arm and then straightening. Good. And we're going to pick up the speed just ever so slightly, but we're not going to lose our form. So we're kind of double timing, but we're still making sure that this part of our arm stays nice and stable. Same thing, we're doing 30 all together here. And we've got one more. And again, if you don't have any small dumbbells like I do, feel free to grab a can of soup, some other canned item you have in the house that'll work just as well. You really just need a lightweight and, and like I said, when you do the high reps, you will definitely be able to feel it. All right, eight more. But we're picking up the speed just slightly. Three, two, and one. Good. So go ahead and slowly bring those weights down. I still want your elbows bent at 90 degrees down by your side. And then from here, you're going to push up towards the ceiling and then slowly come back down. So kind of a different way that we're working the triceps. So you should be feeling the burn. Maybe starting to get a little bit fatigued on the back of your upper arm. 
30 here. You know the drill. So really focusing on straightening your elbows, almost like you're trying to push the ceiling up and away from you. Nice job. Ooh, my arms are starting to get tired on me. <laughs> Keep going. I'm gonna do some general tricep stretch after this. Good, just 10 more. Eight. Keep up the good work. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Go ahead and touch those weights. All right, and then gently kind of come up into a seated position for me. And let's definitely do a tricep stretch. We did a lot of work there today, so we need to stretch out those muscles. So go ahead and just bring one arm up overhead like you were gonna scratch the top of your upper back. And then with your other arm, gently grab in front of the elbow and gentle pull back to where you feel a good stretch right in here. Letting your shoulders relax. Letting your breathing come down a little bit. You guys did a great job. Just a few more seconds and then let's go ahead and switch. Same thing, just gentle pull to where you're feeling a good stretch in the back of your upper arm. A few deep breaths here. You guys accomplished a lot today. Thanks again for tuning in.